everyone, in today's video, I am going to be filming a products that I have used up over the last few months. And yeah, let's jump in. I hope you all enjoy the video. Before I begin the video, I do want to apologize for my monthly absence. I will be explaining in a separate video on why I have been gone because it is a little bit personal for me this time. And I just want to clear the air a little bit. So yeah, let's jump in officially to the video. First off, I have the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo and the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Charcoal Coconut Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I also had the conditioner, but I threw away the bottle before I made the video, so I can't really go back and get the bottle, but I will be reviewing that along with the two shampoos. Now, I really did enjoy all the products. I enjoyed the shampoo the most. At first, I'll admit, I didn't really like it because it did leave my hair feeling really heavy and oily, and I do have a scalp condition called seborrheic dermatitis, and that can go from my scalp to my armpits to my eyebrows and anywhere along my crevices and on my face. But after a while, my scalp got used to the shampoo and started using its own natural oils instead of the shampoo stripping away its natural oils. Now with the exfoliator, I felt that it really did provide some relief for my seborrheic dermatitis because with that scalp condition, you do have dandruff and a lot of it. And I felt that it did lift some of the dandruff off my scalp. So I do highly recommend both the shampoo and conditioners. The conditioner left my hair feeling so moisturized. I loved the smell of the conditioner and I got many compliments. And I do recommend all the products and I give it a 10 out of 10. Anyway guys, I will list below in the description to see whether or not these products are vegan or vegetarian. With this shampoo, I do know that it is neither vegan or vegetarian because it is a prescription medication recommended by the dermatologist. And you know that dermatologists do not care whether you are vegan or vegetarian. But it is called the Keto Canazole Shampoo. It is 2% and it helps with any kind of scalp conditions like psoriasis, eczema, or seborrheic dermatitis. And it really does help provide even more relief from uh, these conditions. Now, before I would use this, I would use my Brio Geo shampoo and I would use the exfoliator first. And then after that, I would go in with the Keto Canazole shampoo so that it wouldn't like strip away any of the medication before I apply it. So I really do recommend this for anybody who has really bad scalp conditions like I do. Next, I have a body wash, finally, skincare stuff. It is the Vagisil Sensitive Sense Daily Intimate Wash in Peach Blossom. It is skin friendly, sensitive, and it has a nice scent to it. The only reason that I bought this was because I needed a good body wash with a good scent that would help balance my, you know, private areas pH, and it did just that. I really did enjoy it. The only thing that I don't really like about this is that it is not climate uh, pledge friendly. It has sodium lauryl sulfate lauryl glucoside glycerin sodium chloride all the bad stuff that i do not want in a body wash but if you really don't 
care about it, I do recommend. But if you're a really hardcore vegan vegetarian like me, I don't recommend. I bought this a while back before I fully committed to uh, veganism. And I just wanted to use this product up before I went and found a better product, which I will find and I will review for you guys in the future. But I give that a solid 8 out of 10 just because it is not climate uh, pledge friendly. Lastly, I had the Advanced Clinicals Salon Professional Spa Sized Collagen Skin Rescue Lotion. It is great for post treatments, hydrates, and lifts, as well as firms the skin. It promotes an even looking skin tone, and best of all, it is fragrance. I really do like this product. Now, do I agree with the claims? No. It does not provide an even-looking skin tone, but it really does hydrate the skin, and it helps with fine lines and wrinkles because I'm 23 years old, guys, and I will be 24 next year. I've been stressing out a lot over school and work, and I've been getting really bad forehead wrinkles. And so far, it has helped repair some of that. And I really do enjoy it. It has no scent at all. It is very heavy duty for people who have really dry skin. Now, whereas I have oily scalp conditions, I have really dry skin. So I have a combination of both. But I really do recommend this product. It is also cruelty-free and climate pledge friendly. Guys, that is it for today's video. I had a really good time finally filming a video for you guys that I know you will enjoy. Like I said earlier, in my next video, I will be explaining why I have been gone for a month and I hope you guys understand that and I'll be explaining like my filming schedule from now on and things like that. I hope to see you all in my next video and I hope you all have a great rest of your day, night, month, year, or whenever you're watching this. Alright, bye!